So, having done all this hard work, you will be proving that you know how to identify the native plant and plus you will be demonstrating that this particular plant belongs to this particular because it has got all these features. And one way to demonstrate that is to produce this masterpiece. This masterpiece is your specimen which is nicely mounted, dried, collected, which has got all the nice the features there. Then the label which describes where it was collected from, grows, and what, what type of soils, all those features are described here. And also it mentions your name. I blocked this one out because from a previous student. And you mention your name so that if this specimen is a very unique specimen, it will stay in the herbaria for tens and hundreds of years and the other botanists will make use of that. So that's the information you need to provide. In addition, you need to provide the floral diagram, which I think we will explain more about that. After dissecting the, the flowers, you put them into the floral diagram, uh, the, uh, the structure like this, the way you have learned during your living systems, or if you have any problems, you ask me during the WebEx uh, sessions. And then you need to go through the identification key and write down the steps which you take to go to the family level and then to the genus level. And so this is your masterpiece and this is the one which is going to give you the, the marks at the end of the day. The next question is, once you have finished with that, how do you make sure that that will reach me in, the, in one piece? So the best way is to put them into a folder like this or A3 size manila folder and separate the specimens belonging to a particular family into one group or several families into one folder. And uh, so this is the way you put them in. Uh, I prefer this one. This is a very good one. And you can get this, uh, the Manila folder. You can see the brand as well there. It's a green one. And you can cut it up, make a folder like this. And uh, just place your sample. Each family or several families into one folder. All right, so now it is very, very nicely secured. And uh, so you will have maybe about 10 folders like this, each one containing about two to three or four specimens. Once you finish packing each specimen like this into the folder and place all those folders in a A3 size post pack box, and then place them, all of them here, and then mail them to me at CQ or to the, the same place where you are sending that to your, uh, all, the, all your assignments. So along with your specimens, you should also write down the assignment sheet and also list down the number of species you are sending, specimens you are sending and what's the name of the specimen, what family it belongs to, so that you have a count of all the specimens you are sending. And then that can be easily sent to me by post, or you can uh, send it through the, the local campus mail service, or if you're located here, you can drop it off into my office or uh, building six admin office, level one building six admin office. So there are many places where you can leave it, either mail it or drop it off into my office or leave it in the admin office in building 6, level 1.